All right, how's it going, guys? So, um, this video is intended to be a little bit more of a thorough walkthrough of the Stabycraft 2250 Ultra Center Cab. Uh, I took possession of this uh, right at the beginning of 2022. Um, and I've uh, taken out on the water once, uh, tried out a couple things, and then I've been making some modifications. And I think I'm just about done with all the modifications I'm going to make so far, unless the second sea trial, um, you know, something comes up there that I need to adjust or make improvements on. Uh, so I wanted to use this, uh, make this video so that uh, it's a little more thorough walkthrough um, um, and gives everyone an idea who was interested in buying a 2250 what to expect. Uh, maybe some questions that they have that maybe forums or uh, Facebook pages um, have a hard time. You have a hard time searching them to get answers. Maybe maybe I can help because I probably have those same questions as well. And I'll, I'll try to do my best to um, answer some that I have had in the past. And then obviously you guys can comment in the comment section and then I'll try to get back to you. So, um, <clears throat> so again, like I said, this is a 2021 CB Craft 2250 Ultra Center Cab. This is the Stage 2 paint. So you see here, paint goes all the way down to the water line here. Uh, stage 1 would just be the belt section there. Stage 0, none of this would be painted. And then just this cabin top would be painted there. So that's uh, so. this is a Stage 2 uh, paint job. It's got the 18-inch uh, Garmin Phantom Radar. Uh, this has got the offshore bra uh, on the offshore package. I believe it comes with the uh, br the radar mount, and the radar mount's kind of parallel to this roof line. This roof line is kind of uh, swept in the swept forward a little bit. So what I did was I added a four degree wedge uh, to it. So you can see here, um, you can see how the radar is slightly kind of tilted upwards relative to the roof line <clears throat> and that's hopefully to make it a little uh, make the radar a little bit uh, better as I'm uh, using it in terms of uh, the beam and, and how it shoots off the uh, the, the radar and, and maybe get better uh, better coverage as I'm running the boat so uh, I'm using a 2018 f-150 this is a V6. Uh, the rating on it says 9,000 pound uh, tow rating. Um, this is probably max what I would probably use to tow something like this. The boat probably weighs close to close to 5,000 pounds. And then with the trailer, it's probably pushing seven, if I had to guess. So I'm, you know, if you use the 20% rule, I'm probably right there in terms of max for this uh, in for this for this truck to be quite honest i'd probably be more comfortable in a 250 but given where i travel how i use this i don't do a whole lot of hills uh it's a, it's a lot of flat so i think this uh i think this this truck's gonna do just fine <clears throat> sitting on an easy loader trailer tandem uh, uh disc brakes on all four wheels uh oil bath um bearings surge a uh, break i might do electric over hydraulic we'll see um if i decide to go that route with the trailer uh, i got the spare there with the winch i opted with the side bunks just to make it easier to guide the the boat in um some of the harbors that we have here have have some gnarly current so having those side bunks for the trailer uh, helps quite a bit um I needed to get an offset for the truck, for the ball. Uh, the dealer told me 25 inches from the from the bottom to the top of the ball. So that's what I got set up here. And that keeps the, the trailer just about parallel. So the dealer was uh, spot on there. So if you guys were wondering, <clears throat> at least for this particular setup, you're going to need a 25 inch uh, from from Florida, top of the ball. You're gonna need that much uh, height there. Uh, 
So you might need an offset depending on what kind of uh, truck you have. In my case, I actually had to go up uh, as shown there. All right, so that's what the uh, starboard side looks like. Uh, the navigation lights are all uh, midship right there. So green on the right, uh, red on the, on the left. You got three cleats. You got one at the transom, one midship, and then one uh, near the bow. Um, I did not powder coat the rails. <clears throat> I did opt for the winch as well as the uh, da the tro trolling uh, electric trolling Minn Kota uh, bracket. So if ever I decided to want that, I got it. Otherwise, I can probably use it for something else. I can use it for, I could put a light there. I could put um, something, a uh, cooler. I, I don't know. Uh, or just leave it as is. Sorry, it's a little darker on this side just from the angle. But um, so that's what this looks like here, kind of walking around. I've taken this boat once already uh, out to the water. Um, I need to make a few adjustments, uh, which I'll probably talk about a little bit later. But uh, I'll probably take it out again this weekend. Um, make sure all the adjustments I made are, are, are working well. Uh, so that's what the logo looks like, Stevie Craft. <coughs> so you got two rub rails. You got one here and you got one here on the lower end. Just to be forewarned, these are only adhesive backed. That kind of sucks. So you can see here it's kind of peeling. And I got to do something about it. Maybe add some more 3M adhesive. This one here is also adhesive back, so we'll see how long that lasts. That rub rail spans the entire length of the boat. So we'll see how, how that works. So there's the rub rail. So I got the um, sw swim step ladder on the port side. And then the little opening there. I got them the Lenco trim tabs. These are where all the uh, uh, exhaust would be. Water line is right about here. So these are these are above the water line. <clears throat> so this one here is for the uh, deck bilge. This one here is for the live well. I opted for the Honda 250 right there 99 kicker uh, I got it sitting in the bath because my uh, I live in an area where I have low water pressure and so in order to flush it the way I want to flush it I got to put it in one of these big tubs so I was about to run the motors uh, but I decided to do this video show some people what this uh, thing looks like um, <coughs> If I ever need to put another uh, bilge pump, I'll probably cut it right here on this side. So um, on this particular model, the gas is right there on the starboard side. So if anyone was interested, as you can see here, I got a three quarter uh, live well. So I'm going to go over that when I get up top here. But just wanted to show you sort of the rest of the boat here. I got my antenna sitting on top there. It's in the down position right now, but it's up there. I got, I also went with the um, the G, the Garmin GPS thing, which is up also on the roof. So I'll show you that when I get up there. So that's kind of what the boat looks like. Um, just to show you where some of the drains are. <clears throat> there's the drain for the uh, the winch locker on the front so that's the drain for that that section right there there is another hole and i'm not gonna be able to get to it but it's probably over here somewhere about midship that's the drain for the um for the locker that's between the captain's chair and the co-captain chair so that's that and then the other one is so here, uh, just underneath. There's there's the uh, the high speed pickup for the 
uh, wash down and the live well. So it's just right of center. Um, so you're not going to want to put anything in terms of uh, uh, transducers. You're not going to want anything right here in this section here. Um, the the Stabycrafts do come with brackets for both your trim tab and your transducers. Both uh, They have one on the starboard and port side. I opted for two transducers. You can see one there and one here. That's one thing that I had to make an adjustment. I was getting some low, some bad readings. So I had to make some adjustments to the transducers. Um, so I went with the Airmar um, uh, TM265, L, uh, I want to say LH, low high. So that's one there. You're going to want that one on the starboard side. And then I went with the GT23 on the port side. <clears throat> so that one was an 8 pin and this is a 12 pin. And that's why I went with, with what, I, what, what I went with. The um, MFD, the multifunction display that I have, um, has a 12 pin and 8 pin for the transducer. And so I didn't want to do any ad adapting or anything. So that's what we went with. Um, for um, bilge um, things here, there's one right there. There's one here. This one here is for the deck bilge, which I'll, I'll show to you. That one here is for the bottom uh, of the bilge. You really shouldn't get any water in these three from what I understand but obviously this one here is the one for the you're gonna want to keep that one open when you um, when you store it because uh, or else the the deck will fill up uh, if there's a lot of water <clears throat> so I got the um, sea star hydraulic here um, and then these the two motors are connected with the cable there this one, they're both remote, uh, remote um, tilt. So I can do that from the cabin. This one, I don't think I can do it manually, but this one here, the, the 250, has it on the uh, port side of the engine there. All right. So we're gonna go up pretty soon. We're gonna go up and I'll show you um, the inside here. So here's the uh, handle here. Let's see, I'm trying to think if I have anything else that I want to talk about on the outside. If I if, if I think about it, I'll 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 bring it up. All right, so let's go up. <coughs> All right, we'll start in the back. So I did go with the three quarter inch uh, th three quarter live well or a uh, um, fish box. Usually it's just half of it or or less than half of it so that's just because i wanted a large live well for one um, because i did convert this into a live well so one thing that i noticed here already is it's really tight here and when the, these things heat up they expand and then it makes opening these things a challenge so as you can see here, it's real tight. So it's something I gotta maybe fix. I, gotta, I might need to take these off and cut them a little bit better. So that's the three quarter live uh, fish box. So modification I did was I put that uh, drain um, live well spray there. And then I'm still working on this. That's for the live well uh, drain, you see there. So, not sure if that's gonna be enough of a, <clears throat> an outlet. Uh, if I need to drill another hole to have a bigger drain, I'll probably do it here. Have it come off from underneath there and then out um, through uh, through hole. So, so that's what the three quarter live well fish box looks like. In terms of size, um, I have yet to calculate the volume, but here's a uh, 
40 inch um, ruler here. So it's 40 plus another, uh, I don't know, call it another t uh, 10 inches. So call it 50 inches across. And uh, let's do it this way by 16 inches uh, deep or or high and then s call it 16 inches uh, deep something like that so that gives you a good approximation of uh, what it is I'll calculate the volume later um, I, I'm curious to see what the actual volume of that is so so that's what the fish box looks like Uh, four um, <clears throat> rod holders off the back here, off the live, off the fish box. Then we got three. Let's do this side. Three on each of the gunnels. One there, one there, one there. Two um, cup holders on both sides, both port and starboard. I have I've already mounted the um, cannon uh, mount there so that swivels and then I basically just drilled and put the big fender washers there from underneath I also cut this um, C deck so that this would look nice and flush you can see there that's kind of what it looks like so this one here is goes straight back this one goes more to like 45 and then this one here goes straight out 90 degrees so that's what it looks like battery compartment I got two um, just hold on one second I'll open this up there are two battery compartments there I got it on a trickle charger right now pretty decent size um, I might opt for a lithium battery we'll see um, not sure how I'm gonna do that just yet in there is a mount for the live well so when I installed the live well drain I put I had the I didn't go to the um, the switch bought the switches in the uh, the cabin I went to one external here on the outside so this one here has a timer so I have a big enough live well now where I don't have to run this <clears throat> constantly so I can fill it up and then maybe have it you know every X amount of minutes turn on so that's why I, I kind of went with this <clears throat> here's the jump seat here on the on the port side so if someone wanted to sit here while 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 running or fishing here's the the uh, gunnel here so I actually put some sea decking in here just to you know so it's not on metal and then here's my ropes half inch ropes so pretty deep this, this is about seven inches I want to say let's see oh well, can't really see it, but I, I believe it was seven inches seven eight inches so that's what the starboard side looks like wash down is on this side here and the wash down pump is in there okay so that's what that looks like uh, you got your battery switch there and then the maxwell winch um, circuit breaker there all right what else is on this side um well let's let's go underneath so i got i opted for an autopilot so that's where they decided to put the unit as well as the um bulb there and then further inside is um if you can see there there's the uh the the water separator so i can kind of get to it there <clears throat> and then some of the modifications i did i'm going to show you now so what i do is i go inside here this section here i kind of put this in a 45 degree angle and then 
that allows me to kind of get inside here. And you can see here, this is what it looks like. So those were the two drains. You see the drain uh, right there. That's for the, that's the inlet. I have my pump. So one of the modifications I did was I went with a Johnson a uh, thousand gallon uh, live well pump. I went directly to the seacock valve right there. This is the deck bilge. So everything, th this is not a self-draining deck. So that's one of the negatives of this design. But um, <coughs> I got the um, deck bilge pump there. It looks like a whaler. And then you see there that bolt, the that, oh, that little um, black thing there. That's the... Um, that's what you want to have open as far as the um, the the bolt. I 3D printed these little drains, these little uh, baskets here. here. So um, when water is draining, this will catch the big crap. So my deck bilge doesn't clog up. The bilge pump doesn't clog. Up. You see, I have one here. Uh, on the side. If you look closely there, there's one on the starboard side. So that's another thing that I made myself. You can see here, it's on that this flange here. That's the, the pickup for all the, the gas stuff from the tank. <clears throat> I was not too um, happy about the wiring that the dealer did. Uh, so it looks a little messy. But I, I guess it, it is what it is. I might I might come in here at some point and maybe figure out how to clean it up a little bit, put some tie wraps or whatever. There's um a bulkhead up there from the uh, from the outside you can use to um, access the deck bilge if you can't do what I'm doing right now, which is get underneath here. But um wasn't too bad. So so that's what it looks like in here. Um, I will most likely, I'm 100%, I'm actually I'm 90% confident I'm going to add a second bilge pump in here, just in case. Um, and if that's the case, then I'll probably have it drain out. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have it drain out from the starboard or the port side. We'll see. Okay, so let's get out of here. So, that's kind of how the water drains kind of goes into that little opening right there and then into the deck what I call the deck bilge um, area all right so that's what that looks like so let's look at uh, this uh, section here now all right so here's the uh, the back of the unit I got the vinyl uh, covers on right now these are apparently are, are custom made so uh, you cannot order them an extra one from the dealer. You're gonna have to have a local person make them for you. Um, what I'm understanding is these little snaps here are, are not in the same location for every boat. And so these are kind of made um, um, sort of um, on the fly. I might ask them if they can do the cover and then just don't put any of the snaps and then I'll actually install the snaps myself. I have a feeling that that would work. So uh, I just thought about that now thinking about it. So I might try that, ask the dealer, see if they can uh, convince Davy Craft when they start shipping spare parts. Um, I hear they're kind of prioritizing production right now, uh, which is understandable. Hopefully they can, um, they can give me some spare parts, so. Two uh, lights here in the back, controlled by the switch panel here at the at the helm. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven rod holders off the top there. A good amount of uh, rod holders. <clears throat> so you can see here, and then obviously you have the three here, and then the four. So I got a decent amount of rod holders here. Um, oh, another thing to be forewarned is. Um, all Stabycrafts have this, uh, sort of transom, uh, fish box, 
um, cutting board station area. Uh, you got to make sure you don't put the uh, you don't tilt it up as much because you see there I already put a little scuff on the Honda as I was tilting it up. So that's another thing to be forewarned about. Oh okay, yeah, this thing here uh, just goes like that. I think it goes the other way actually, but anyways. Okay, so let's go back here. <clears throat> Here's off to the side. And let me do the top here since I'm already here. Pretty decent walk walk through, you know, in terms of like space. I, I can kind of come in, you know, at sort of like a three quarter, um, you know, shift, you know, kind of shaming my, my side three quarter. Here's the Garmin GPS thing. Here's my antenna. It's a uh, phase three, six, two, two, five dash R Shakespeare. I think this is Shakespeare's top of the line, uh, eight foot antenna. There's the, uh, the navigation top light there. And obviously the Garmin 18 inch Phantom. Okay, coming around here. I am gonna put rod holders on, on this guy here. Um, just need to figure out what I'm gonna do. There's the anchor 